Okay, today I'm going to show you how to replace a power supply in one of these smaller form factor uh, Dells. Um, this is not a normal size desktop as you can guess. Um, as a result it has one of these proprietary power supplies. Um, if you already know how to replace the power supply in a system, there's not too much difference here. Um, it's probably easier to show you with um, the brand new one that I'm going to put in. Uh, but as you can see, there's only uh, really three cables. you got the main power connector, uh, SATA, and a uh, four pin for the processor. Get that out of the way. And um, as you can guess, uh, that's only one SATA, one port processor in the main, so with the deal with the CD drive is it actually pulls power through the ribbon cable uh, down through the motherboard, um, which is kind of hard to see here. I'll try turning it around. Um, also, on this video, I'm testing out some lighting. Uh, last video I did on the desk here, someone said it was kind of darkish. So, um, do let me know if this lighting is any better, and I'll start using this for newer videos. Because what I see on the camera is apparently not how the video renders out. So, um, so yeah, first thing I'm going to need to do is pull the hard drive up and out of here. Uh, the one SATA connector is going to go into the hard drive right there. And the pins for the uh, motherboard, main power supply. One jump cut later, you see I got the hard drive out here. Um, disconnected the power cable there. Uh, it actually runs up kind of along the side here and uh, through that little plastic, white plastic clasp you see there, you just have to kind of slide that out so it comes undone. Uh, this little piece here kind of slides through there, these little beads, and then that power cord will sit there. Um, you can go through and try disconnecting the SATA cable and fishing it out there, but easiest thing to do is simply disconnect it from the motherboard you see that blue connector there and of course put the hard drive to the side and the next piece I'm going to go through and disconnect the CD drive cable and I'm actually going to lift the CD drive out of here because as you may be able to see part of the power supply actually goes under it and it's just a little release tab right here. Pull that up, and I actually need two hands for that, and this will come on out. And then it's just going to be a matter of disconnecting the power cord here, and the four pin. And the four pin, I think I said earlier, was located under the hard drive, it meant CD drive, sorry. Um, you also had to take that out for that too. Uh, and once you get this out, it's a really tight fit on most of these. Uh, you have to kind of just pull it up and just going to barely have enough room to clear that. And then you get some extra slack. And then all you have to do is just kind of fish it under this piece of metal and around this clasp. And then we can start taking out this uh, power supply, which is held in by uh, the three screws you see here, here, and here. Okay, after you take those screws out of the side, you can basically slide the power supply and lift it up and out of the system. As you can kind of see what happened there, uh, the one cable was a little bit tucked under here too, so um, don't let that fool you. And putting in the new power supply is pretty much the exact same thing. First thing you want to do is make sure that the... Oh, trying to get that in there you're not going to probably read it because um, it's kind of cut into the plastic with that little red switch there uh, make sure that's on the proper voltage for your uh, country and the United States you'd be looking at um, 115 over in Europe it's usually um, I want to say it's 220 or something like that I think it says 215 something like that and uh, kind of just take your cables and get them into position. Uh, the most difficult one is going to be the four pin because of how little slack uh, they give you on this. I wish they give you just a little bit more. Um, start by kind of feeding 
it through here. Sorry if the camera gets a little blurry here. My camera isn't too great at focusing on things up close. I'm probably going to need a second hand for this, so I'm going to edit that. But you basically just feed it through here, push that in. The main pin connector goes in there, and then you got to feed this guy up through the hard drive harness like we had before. Okay, I uh, got the cable fished through here and wrapped around and went ahead and connected in there. Then I went ahead and screwed it in. I did that because I knew that this cable being so tight along the side here, I'd have to fiddle with moving this up and down back and forth. So I didn't bother screwing this in until I got that put in the uh, four pin. Connected the uh, main power connector, and now we got to put our hard drive and CD drive back in and uh, put it back together. Okay, we got the hard drive back in, the power connector for that, the uh, ribbon cable, CD drives back under there, the power supply or main power supply cable is nice and tight. And when you do put the hard drives back in uh, for these Dells, these small form factor Dells, keep in mind there's a little notch there. You want to make sure that the drive goes into that notch and that when you push the drive down in here at these little arms, they kind of are little rocker arms um, that they do click in. So I kind of give each one just a little bit of a push just to make sure that they are in there all the way. Now I'm going to put the cover back on this thing, start it up, and everything should be good to go. Alright, and there we go. You probably can't see it, but the power light is green. Um, usually when you have a bad power supply in these, they'll turn uh, blinking orange. And uh, that's what this guy had. And I'm actually going to make another video to show you how to test one of these power supplies. So um, That's it for this video. Until next time, I'll see you later.